Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to boot to an ISO file in Oracle's VirtualBox virtualization software. So let's say you have some VMs and you want to boot to a, a different type of CD to, let's say, start a different type of operating system or start some kind of recovery, but you don't know how to do it. It's pretty simple to do, so we're going to demonstrate it for you. So let's say we have this Windows 10 VM right here and we want to boot it to a Linux CD, like a live Linux CD, just to try out Linux and see what it does. Or let's say we want to do some kind of file recovery, because you could do that from a live Linux CD as well. So what you want to do is you want to go to the settings, and then you want to go to the storage section, because that's going to have your storage devices, like hard drives and that kind of thing. And as you can see here, we just have our virtual disk for Windows itself. So that's the only thing it's going to boot off of. So we first need to add some kind of optical device. So you might have one there already, and if you don't, it's really simple to do. Just click on controller. So you click on here, you're not going to have the option. You want to go on controller itself and see this little guy here for add optical drive. Click on that. And then you can either leave it empty or you could choose what you want to boot to right away. So let's go choose disk. And right here we have, we're going to boot to this Nopix CD right there. So I'll just double click that. And so that's disk is actually mounted there and it's ready to boot and let's say you changed your mind or you picked the wrong one you can remove that and now it's empty and you can go back here and then you could choose which drive or disk you want to use and so we'll click that again and then we'll click OK so now we're going to start this guy and instead of booting Windows we should have it boot up with that Linux Nopix CD And if you notice down there, it said press F12 to select boot device. So if for some reason it's not booting from your optical drive first, you could press that and then choose that as your first startup item. So as you can see, this is not Windows. It's actually Linux. Initiating startup sequence. And as you can see here, kind of big, but we have our... Linux desktop and so now we're technically running this VM off of that Linux CD and then once we're done we could just shut it down and so then what you could do is go back here and then you could either just remove the whole optical drive or you could go back in Remove that disk from the drive, and then you're good to go. Simple as that. All right, thanks for watching. 